Hey y'all, it's Tirza. I am 39 years old from Philadelphia, essentially 5 foot 7. Um, in December 2012, I weighed 330 pounds, which was my highest recorded weight. January 12, 2012, I had a vertical sleeve gastrectomy with Dr. Wernstein in Pennsylvania Hospital, and on that day, I weighed 294 pounds. Um, uh, by November 2012, I was down to 165, which was kind of cool because it was 165 pounds lost. And um, that's the lowest I ever got. And I never maintained anything. And I've been up and down, up and down. I've even been as high as back into the 300s. This July 1st, I was back to 304.6. Last week I came to you guys, I was 167.2. And this week I weighed, this week, today, I weighed 164.2. So I lost three pounds for the week and I made my goal, finally. Now, goal. According to my BMI, even the one pound under goal, um, Still puts me in an overweight category because I think the BMI for 5'7, since I can't input 5, 5, 6, and 3 quarters, um, was 25.7. A normal BMI is anything under 25, even if it's like 24.9. Um, I'm not mad about it. I have a lot of skin. Um, not only that, um, I have like some fat deposits that are on like the saddlebags of the thigh. And also I have some of the, that like hard fat that's in my belly that's just not going away. And honestly, I just wanna be healthy. I'm not in it to become a skinny mini person. As, as it is, I'm really sad that um, I lost my behind, uh, which didn't happen the last, like ever, actually. Not even just the last time I lost weight, just ever in my life that was has never been an issue. So that's something I'm already coming to terms with. So we don't need to lose. I don't need to get like, that well, doesn't look quite that bad, but trust me when I tell you it looks really bad. I think this arm is worse though, yeah. Anyway, um, so I may go. I, I do um, want to get down to like 158. Not so much to be in a normal BMI, which 158 would give me, but just to have a cushion. Um, because I know that next Tuesday, I don't even know if I should make a video uh, or come back to you because I know my weight's going to be up 10 to 15 pounds. Uh, on April 7th, it was my birthday and I did not have cake. I didn't get my favorite foods or do anything. Me and my husband went out and we did a couple of things. We had fun. I watched him eat a whole pepperoni pizza and drink two beers in front of me. <laughs> but I did not do that. I had eggs and cheese. I was on an egg fast that day, even on my birthday, because I was preparing myself for my planned cheats. I feel like I do a lot better when my cheats are planned. Every time I had a plan cheat, I got back on. It was when I just decided to go AWOL, AWOL, what am I talking about? When I decided to just go off, that's when I struggled and it took me several days to get back on track. And like this last time, the damage I did in 10 days took me like 25 days to get it off. So um, I had planned to um, cheat on Easter and Easter Monday. Why Easter Monday? Because I'm a cheap boop. And I'm going to get my Easter candy 50% off. <laughs> but I actually already have some Zitners. Um, double coconut and butter crack, which is my favorite. It should just be called crack because yeah, I'm addicted. They're already, they've been in my freezer for like a week um, preparing for this day. Um, my kids had a couple of them, so I don't actually still have the whole box, which is probably better because I would eat both full boxes of Zitners. So at least this way... I won't, you know, I actually kind of still have a full box, but it's a mixture of the butter crack and the double coconut. I'm going to get a bag of black jelly beans because I love black licorice. People are, um, black licorice is one of those polarizing things. People either love it or they absolutely detest it. There's like no in-between feeling towards black licorice. You like it or you don't. So I fall into the love it category. So I'm going to have some black jelly beans and some 
a couple of things like that. Um, and then I am going to my sister-in-law's and I am going to bring a Melrose Diner carrot cake. So I'm going to have some of that and whatever food is there. So I plan on having this chi and I plan on the fact that I am probably going to gain a crap ton of weight because I seem to pack on weight really quickly. So since Tuesday is my official weigh-in, I don't really want to be like, wah, wah. I just made goal and now already I didn't maintain it because by Tuesday, if I'm cheating Sunday and Monday, there's going to be no weight loss on Tuesday. Um, but I still may make a video and just let you guys know how much damage I did. And my intention is um, to get straight back on to plan on Tuesday and hopefully lose whatever, sorry, whatever weight I gain um, in two weeks. That's my goal. Um, so now I can finally say I am going to start maintenance. I don't know if I should actually say that until I get back down to my weight again <laughs> um, after the holiday. Um, so I had promised somebody on Facebook. Everyone makes these uh, goal videos where they dance and whatnot. Number one, um, I don't even do full body shots because I just suck at this. And from day one, which mind you, sorry, somebody's leaving my message. Mind you, this is where I took my first video in the shower of my third floor um, to have some privacy and some quiet in my crazy house. And I actually had to do that again today because I've been running around and didn't have time to make this video and now everyone's home. Um, but everyone does like these dance videos or whatever. Um, I don't know how to set that up. I can't even do this little you know, FaceTime kind of video. I can't even do that right. So dancing is not gonna happen. Um, plus, between my osteoarthritis and my knees and my planners and heel spurs and my feet, um, over these last couple years of not dancing or doing anything, my rhythm's gone. It's weird. So I don't even want to embarrass myself that bit. So instead, I'm gonna embarrass myself with something else I'm not really that talented in. Um, so I'm going to channel my inner hidden butterfly and I am going to sing my happiness for making gold today. All right, let's hope this doesn't sound totally ridiculous. All right, now this is a church song, but I can't promise I'm bringing you to church because my voice is not that good. It's not terrible, it's not that good. And, um, You'll see when I get to the chorus why I chose this song and it matches my shirt. This might come in backwards, I don't know. That's just happy. Okay. Why should I feel discouraged? Why should the shadows come? Why should my heart feel lonely? And long for heaven dead home when Jesus is my portion, my constant friend is he, his eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me and I sing because I'm happy and I sing because I'm free well he's got his And I know he watches me. So there's that. I'm happy today. But I have to say, does feeling, the feeling of being at gold, does it make me happier or suddenly different or any of that? No. But I am happy that I set a goal and I achieved it and I had setbacks and I didn't let them make me fail. So I am happy for that. Anyway, till next week, guys.